What's up, challengers? Welcome to the gym. My name is Gym Leader Geo, and this is episode four of GLG The Return. I am bringing back for the last time. These chicks don't even know the name of my band, my mono choice band, Gym. This is gonna be the last time I do this. I know you guys are probably getting a little tired of seeing some of these mons, and that's why I'm gonna try and switch it up for the next video. But I've really enjoyed playing with these guys. I think it adds a new technical element to battling that I always really enjoy. So I'm gonna try it one more time in the Oh You Know Mega Ladder, which is different from last video where I did it in the suspect testing ladder because I actually kind of started doing that a little bit realistically. This is gonna be Oh You Know Mega, and we're gonna look for a battle here. And we're, hopefully if these go pretty fast, maybe we'll get two in, but I'm not gonna make any promises. We're gonna see maybe one, maybe two. So we're searching for a battle here. I'm really excited to play with these guys again. I haven't played with these guys in a while. I really, really enjoy these chicks. I don't even know them in my band. Let's see. We're going up against Kondrlashtkt. And he's got, he's got a pretty fun team. I like this. I like this a lot. So we know that this isn't a Mega Altaria because this is oh, you know Mega. This is a very obvious lead potential because it can set up spikes and it can rapid spin. Normally you don't see special walls lead because they're typically less supportive. We've got the potential choice bander or defensive option here. Another choice potential here in Flygon and a really cool support Pokemon there. But the most likely lead option is Mr. Mr. Fortress here. And a really good way for me to counter Mr. Fortress is to leave with Ghost Dad. Ghost Dad also has something for a lot of the people here. V Create is not appreciated by this guy or this guy. He will eat it up, but you know, I just I feel like I wanna I wanna give Ghost Dad a chance here. So I'm gonna lead with Ghost Dad. He is going to lead with Fortress, and he is going to switch out this turn. There's no way he's staying in. And absolutely nobody likes to take a V-Create, a choice banded V-Create. Even Arcanine will not appreciate, after an Intimidate, a choice banded V-Create. That said, I'm gonna go for a U-Turn. Because he switches into- oh my god, I'm so glad I did that. Oh, that was so good. I'm surprised he didn't go for Arcanine there. Arcanine would have been a better choice for him because if he's offensive flash fire, then he should and he was predicting a fire type move Then that wouldn't hit him very effective. U-turn doesn't hit him very effective. This guy I just I think that was a mistake on his part now I can come in with someone that's gonna outspeed him and kill him and I think the right person for the job is Maybe the gentleman Yeah, it's gonna be the gentleman um and I'm going to go for a U-turn here again, because I know it'll kill him, and if he opts to try and switch to get some regenerator on this guy, then I get I maintain momentum once again. And if he is gonna opt to switch, maybe it would be Altaria. Yeah, maybe Altaria. He actually opts to stay in and let Carver go down. So now I'm gonna get to play the lead option game once again. And for the purpose of where we are right now, I want to emphasize him not coming in with Fortress. So Ghost Dad would be a good option. He's also my fastest U-Turner, and I think faster than anyone he has on his team. So I can U-Turn out if I don't like my matchup. Arcanine, of course, if it's offensive. I, I, I'm playing too many what-ifs with this Arcanine. It's probably defensive. And if it is defensive, I'm outspeeding it. If it's not defensive, I'm still probably outspeeding it. Unless it's Choice Scarf. And I've never seen a Choice Scarf Arcanine in my life. So I'm not going to predict that it's Choice Scarf, even if it comes in right now. I'm just going to predict that it's a wall. He could go into Altaria right now. I'm not really sure. He goes into Fortress. I don't know if he's trying to bait the V-Create or if he doesn't think I have it. But if he's trying to bait the V-Create to give his Arcanine a flash fire boost... I'm gonna go for it. Yeah, okay, so he was, he was really trying to bluff me out there, and uh, I'm not having it. Not this time. So I'm gonna pop off that V-Create, 
and take out the fortress. Now he's missing two. Floyd comes in. Earthquake probable and likely, and Earth power also a potential, but what I'm not predicting is a dragon type move. Yeah. So I'm going to go into the gentleman, and we're going to see what set he is. He goes for an earthquake. We're going to see if he's banded based on whether or not he switches out here. And I'm going to go for Stealth Rock because the remaining Pokemon on his team, uh, namely these three, are all weak to it. No. Two of them are. Is it still worth it then? It's probably more worth I'll probably just get more damage if I just start trying to shoot off Stone Edges. No, I'm U-turning. Uh, that does almost half, but not quite half. If he's going to switch up his attack... What am I predicting then? A dragon? So let's go into a zoom roll. He does opt to switch up. He's a mixed... <laughs> he's a mixed Flygon. And after going for that Draco Meteor, now two moves in a row that he's been uh, completely resisted by. Uh... I know that I can take an Earthquake from this guy. I don't think he has anything, like maybe he's carrying like Poison Tail or something, but he's not strong enough without a Choice Band or Choice Specs. He could be Life Orb, I suppose. I really don't think he's got anything for me. Play Rough is not going to hit very effective against Arcanine, but Arcanine would be a ballsy switch in. Um, so would Trevenant. Unfortunately, being Choice Banded is actually giving me a disadvantage here because I don't know if I pick one and he predicts me right, or if he just switches out in general, the wrong move here is resisted. Uh, so let's do some math. Play Rough is good against these guys. Yeah, Play Rough is the best move. The only one it's not good against is Arcanine, who's going to be scared of Waterfall. So let's just go for the play rough here. Uh, we're going to see Trevenant come in, and he's not going to enjoy this play rough. It's going to one-shot Caesar. <laughs> um, <laughs> Arcanine should come in right now. Unless this is a choice banded Arcanine with Flash Fire, it needs to come in right now. Going to go for Altaria instead. So I'm going to click play rough once again. Uh, he's gonna go for Hyper Beam and do nothing. Oh, this is ridiculous. This is this is low ladder for you guys. <laughs> I'm gonna get a second battle after this. <laughs> Hyper Beam Altaria, guys. Not Mega Altaria, mind you. A Hyper Beam Mega Altaria, I wouldn't even be that mad. I would not be mad at all. But... <laughs> Mixed Flygon. He's gonna forfeit. I'm gonna say okay for that. And I'm gonna give you guys a second battle because you guys deserve You've been sticking around with me during these low laddering sessions. I could obviously be laddering a little bit to get higher prior to making these videos, but that does it does take time. And you know, I think this is I think it's just fun this way. I think you guys get to explore the world of my brain versus good and not good opponents alike. Because you've seen me play against good opponents. You, you guys have seen that already. You just want to see this. You just want to see. Six choice bands, take it into the fray. This is gonna be fun. This team is choice, uh, this team is knockoff weak. He won't like it. He will get hit super affected by it. He doesn't wanna lose his Toxic Orb. He doesn't wanna lose Eviolite. He's fine with it, I guess. He's all right with it too, I suppose. Potential options. Um, Beginners sometimes lead with Gliscor and just opt for the Protect. Um, he could also run Stealth Rock. Here's another likely Stealth Rocker. Both of these guys aren't particularly fond of uh, Conkeldur. Conkeldur also does a number against quite a good number of these people and can pop off that knockoff if need be. So let's lead with McSmash here. And we're going to see Gliscor lead. Good. So he's probably, honestly, he's probably going to go for Protect here. To scout me and to get his um, Toxic Orb activated. So, Knock Off would have been a good option if it was someone else. And I predicted the Gliscor switch in to get rid of that Toxic Orb. But since I'm predicting the Protect, 
the better move would be to go for Ice Punch here. Because if he doesn't go for Protect, he dies. Whereas if he didn't go for Protect and I got a knockoff, he probably wouldn't die, he just wouldn't have Toxic Heal. So, I'm gonna go for the Ice Punch here, hoping that he doesn't predict that I have it. He's gonna go for the Stealth Rock and die. Yes. Yes. I'm glad I went for that. He, <laughs> I hope you think it was worth it, my friend. Because, on one hand, he did- you know what? Maybe it is worth it. We'll see. We'll see. I don't know why he switched to Kinkelda here. I really don't know why he did that. What does he think he's gonna go for? I'm gonna go into the Gentleman, and I'm gonna get an Intimidate off, and, um, resist his stab. He could go for a knockoff, which is actually going to give me the opportunity to Stealth Rock. I'm not opposed to this uh, turn of events here. We'll see what he does. He's going to go for the Drain Punch. That's resisted. And... Does he have... I don't think he has anything that resists Earthquake anymore. I can just start firing off Choice Bandit Earthquakes, because his only thing that resisted it. Is, uh, is now gone. So let's just start doing that. Let's just get some damage off on this guy. He's gonna switch to knock off and get rid of my choice band. And um, I'm just gonna, I think, finish off the Kinkelder. Yeah, I'm gonna finish off the Kinkelder. He can opt to switch out if he wants to, but then he's just taking Earthquake damage. His team is really not gonna appreciate Earthquakes. Chansey, okay. Now, Chansey could go for a Toxic here. It could go for a, uh, a Soft Boiled. If it goes for a Toxic, it dies next turn. I could also go for a U-turn and just straight up save this guy. I'm going to do it. I'm going to go for a U-turn. Uh, it doesn't do as much, obviously. But if he's going to go for a Toxic, Dancing Queen will take it. and then can finish her off. If she's gonna go for a, a healing move, then I can just pop off a fighting type move maybe the turn after. He is gonna go for soft boiled. Scizor now being here. That chance he's not staying in. I'm gonna go for a pursuit. Yep, there's the pursuit right before Chansey switches out and Kinkelder comes in. Hmm. Because he was probably actually looking to sacrifice that Kinkelder. And Pursuit's not going to do a lot. It might kill. It depends how much HP investment he's got. I'm going to stick around. I'm going to go for the Pursuit. And I'm going to kill him. So he was going for Drain Punch there. And I luckily outsped him. And did, he didn't have enough HP investment to, to get that off. Tyranitar's in. I'm not sure what he's going to want to go for here, to be perfectly honest. He could go for a rock. That would be neutral against me. That's not a bad move. But just McSmash just takes so much of what Tyranitar has to offer. Ty a pure fighting is such an anti-Tyranitar. Both of his stabs. I don't see him packing anything for McSmash. So McSmash is going to come in. He's going to go for Pursuit on my guy. That's okay. I'm okay with that. Tyranitar comes in, he is really not going to want to take this. He's going to predict the uh, fighting type move and go into Go Lurk, and I'm going to hit him with a knockoff. No, he goes into Klefki! Oh, no! Shoot! Ah, oh, man! Drain Punch would have murdered that Klefki. He's sitting on that Go Lurk, keeping me scared of using fighting type moves. So, Klefki probably screens is going to be what he wants to set up. One thing I can say is... Fufu puts in work against the rest of this team. A whole lot of it. So let's switch in Fufu here. Predicting what I imagine is going to be a screen or maybe some spikes. Draining Kiss. Draining Kiss goes off. Um, he is part Steel. 
but I'm not all that worried about that. I'm just going to go for a waterfall here. He's going to go for a calm mind. Start trying to set up on me. Waterfall is going to almost kill this Klefki. Um, he better go for a draining kiss right now, and it's not going to matter even if he does. Because it's going to do 50% more damage than it did last time. He's going to go for a rest. Two of these is going to kill you. I don't see the purpose of that sleep. Uh, he's going to go for a rest talk. Is he going for like a Crocune set Klefki? Calm mind rest sleep talk? <laughs> With draining kiss Klefki? Are you kidding me? He... <laughs> Um, okay, so my opponent left the match because he didn't want to play. Let's see. You know what? We're going for a third. We were going for a third match here. That was cute. Man, we see so many. Guys, I got to just tell you right now. With the, uh... <laughs> no, let's just go. Let's just go. And uh, let's play some prediction games here. Once again, not an intelligent first lead mon, but a potential first lead mon. We've got a uh, Fairy Steel Dragon Core here, a very common one with the most used ones of those that I've seen in a while. Really solid lead here option. Um, Braylon's a problem with his spores. Braylon is a huge problem. Let's, um, I know that I need to save Kinkelder for the Heatran, but here are the two biggest problems that this team is going to have, for sure. We know that this guy's probably packing Hidden Power Ice, because they always do. And that's a problem. One thing I'm seeing is that Scizor is not going to be super useful in this match. So let's, um, that might be a good time to just lead with him. Just to pop off a powerful U-turn or something like that. Uh, he's going to lead with Breloom. Spore is more than likely incoming here. So the best option here is for me to get as much damage on this Breloom as early as possible. So I'm going to go for the Bullet Punch and do all that. He's going to go for the Spore. And now he can't do that again. Um, he's more than likely going to go for... Probably a... Um, Rock Tomb here, and if that's the case, the best person to take that, I could intimidate him, and then the gentleman can do it, and uh, just go for a U-turn, which will either kill Breloom, uh, I can also take it with Dragonite, and just pop off an extreme speed next turn, but I don't think he's going to stay in. Uh, McSmash would not mind it at all, and can just go for a Mach Punch the next turn to finish him off. Like, Smash will really not care about it. And there's no way he's going for a Grass-type attack. Let's go into McSmash. Uh, let's see what he goes for here. He's going to go for a Mach Punch. Wasn't what I predicted, to be honest. Really wasn't. Um, but I'm going to go for a Drain Punch, just in case he stays in. He's going to switch into a zoom roll, and I'm going to get some health back. I get a crit, which is really lucky, and a zoom roll gets popped. That did a lot of damage to a zoom roll. Now, unfortunately, with Scizor asleep, I don't have a great opportunity to deal with this zoom roll right now. I'm locked into Drain Punch. A zoom roll will outspeed me and go for a play rough and probably will kill me in the process. I did 60% only because I got a crit. Play rough resisted by Dancing Queen. Resisted by Ghost Dad, who will, I'm pretty sure, die to a follow up, however. Victini. Uh, let's, I see you, Victini. And a zoom roll here. Um, a zoom roll will definitely kill me with a play rough aqua jet combo. No, he won't. He won't kill me with a play rough aqua jet.
He won't kill me with a play rough aqua jet. Then I gotta do it. I gotta do it. Because this Azumarill is such a problem. There's the play rough, which I resist. And uh, now I can go for a Bolt Strike here. Or I could just go for a V Create. I'm gonna do it. He is gonna go for the Aqua Jet. He gets a crit, but luckily I hang in there and I take him out with a V Create. That is excellent. Oh, that's what I needed. Okay, that Azumarill is such a problem. Even after that crit, I lived. That was... That could have gone so badly, guys. That could have gone really, really badly. Uh, Breloom's gonna just finish me off with a Mock Punch here. What else do I need Ghost Dad for? He's faster than a lot of these guys, and he doesn't have rocks up right now. He's gonna go for a Mock Punch. That's what he's gonna do. Ghost Dad's at 1%. Um, but that's... Enough to outspeed a lot of these guys and get one attack off. And I know he's going for... I know he's going for that. How much is that going to do to the gentleman? That's the question. Landorus T. Going uber choice ban. Let's do it. And you are a Breloom. An offensive Breloom who's going to go for a mock punch against me and it's going to do 10%. I'm willing to lose 10% life for this... For this, uh, to eat up this bullet, this mock punch. Did 12. A little bit more than I was anticipating. And now, I get, Victini gets to live to see another day. I'm gonna go for a U-turn here. I will outspeed this Breloom. And he can either stay in and die to it. Or keep this Breloom around and I get momentum here. So we're gonna see. I predict he's gonna switch in that Thunderous, to be perfectly honest. Thunderous, unfortunately, being that he outspeeds the gentleman, can Oko me with uh, Hidden Power Ice, if I predict it, or if he predicts it. So the gentleman, not going to be a good answer to Thunderous. Thunderous is going to have to get taken out with uh, a combination of priority. I don't see myself one-shotting him with anyone. He's really taking his time to think here. Um, fortunately for me, I know I outspeed him. Well, actually, I don't know I outspeed him, because I'm adamant max speed invested, I think. I'm pretty sure I'm adamant max speed investment. So if he's jolly max speed investment, he will outspeed me. But then what's he going to do? He's going to go for a, a minus one rock tomb? No, he's going to switch into Thunderous and eat that up just fine. I can switch into Sir Francis and try and kill him with an E-speed. I think that's my best move. I know he has Hidden Power Ice. I know it. I already know he has it. But I think a combination of two priority moves is going to take him out. And Sir Francis is um, beaten by a lot of the Pokemon on this team. Yeah, I got to do this. I got to do Sir Francis. I have to go for Extreme Speed here. It's Heatran is such an obvious switch in though, but you know, I think I can actually take it. I think I can take an HP Ice if he opts to go for, you know, I gotta go for E-Speed. I can't risk losing Sir Francis just because I'm worried that he might switch. Because if he doesn't, and he stays in and Thunderous goes down, that's another threat that's completely washed up. So he's now forcing himself to decide whether or not he wants to switch. If he predicts the E-Speed. But you know, that's free damage with Sir Francis. I'm, I'm getting free switches here because he still doesn't have rocks up. He does stay in. I get a crit. It didn't matter. That would have killed him anyway. A choice banded E-Speed. GG. So now he's... <laughs> looks like he's giving up. Gujar comes in. Fufu is just such a good answer. I mean, honestly, these... He's... This guy's been playing, he has his three biggest threats right there and he played with them completely wrong.
He's got an, a defensive core up top that he could have used to whittle me, and he didn't opt to do that at all. Uh, I'm still taking way too long to make my moves, though. Uh, Azumarill is going to come in because it's just such a great Gudra counter. Uh, he's going to go for a Dragon Pulse, to which I am immune. There's a bug right near my face. Don't appreciate that at all. Heatran is the best switch in for him here. Even though I'm a water type Pokemon, it doesn't seem like it. Like that would be the case, but it, but he is. Knockoff would be good to get rid of anyone's items, even Gudra's. I'm gonna opt to go for it here. He's gonna go for a Sludge Bomb. That is power. Uh, I didn't quite kill him with the knockoff. And Gooey gets me. What did I get rid of? The Assault Vest. Shoot. He has to go for it again, so I'm going to switch into Dancing Queen here. As he goes for Sludge Bomb. Uh, probably has a Fire-type move. Probably has a Fire-type move. Could I get rid of Ghost Dad? Just sack Ghost Dad now for for some freebie damage? No, I think I'm gonna go back into Foo Foo because I think I can take a Fire type move. He's not gonna go for another Poison type, and then I can go for an Aqua Jet next turn. I can take a Fire type. There's the Fire Blast, which I can eat up and switch over to an Aqua Jet to finish off this Gudra. Or he can opt to switch, and I can get a uh, double priority off. There's the Gooey. It's gonna lower my speed. Let's see what he's going to do here. Glyscore. Okay. Not a problem. Um, let's just keep going for this Aqua Jet. It's already up. I'm already here. Fufu's not going to have a whole lot more safe switches in at this point. I gotta put in put in extra damage with him now. I'm surprised he didn't bring in. Well, I guess he's not confident that he could. Uh, damn, it's more than two hit. That's unfortunate. He goes for the poison jab. Poison jab, Glyscore, Okay, there's the toxic orb activation. What do I have here? Ghost Dad could just go for a V Create, but he could very likely switch into Heatran. Sir Francis could go for a Waterfall, which would be quite powerful. I resist his stab, he doesn't have a whole lot he could go for, and I still have that still up. But I really want Scizor to wake up, but I don't need him to. Like Smash can go for an Ice Punch. Let's go for a Smash here. Uh, Ice Punch hits two of these Pokemon super effectively. It obviously doesn't hit Heatran super effectively, but I don't think Heatran wants... To, you know, I could just go for Drain Punch, though. It would probably two-hit KO this guy. It would keep me healthy. He's not staying in. There's no way he's staying in. There's no way this guy score is staying. He's got to fear that I have the Ice Punch. He's got to know that at this point that I'm choice banded, doesn't he? He's gotta know. He doesn't want to toxic me because he fears I'm guts. He's gotta switch, right? He's gotta switch. <laughs> if he's switching, if he doesn't switch, no, because you know what? I have so many things to deal with Heatran that I shouldn't be making this move just to predict the Heatran. I should be going for Ice Punch. He does go for the Toxic. I should have gone for Ice Punch. Foolish. Fool of a Took me. Fool of a Took. Fool of a Took. Let's go into, uh, let's go into Dancing Queen and let's get this wake up off. Shoot. Dumb, dumb, dumb me. Super dumb. 
Because Gliscor is an annoying, stalling idiot, and I had an opportunity to take it out if I'd just gone for Ice Punch, and Ice Punch would have also hit Breloom super effective. But I, I wanted to, I wanted to win the battle a few turns faster. What is taking him so long? Life score. <laughs> Hurry up. So he uh, he's gonna opt to go for an earthquake here and deal not zero damage. Um, I can't hit this guy super hard. And he'll probably outspeed me, so I can go for a slow U-turn here. I'm just waiting for Dancing Queen to wake up. Uh, 35, I stay asleep. Uh, he's gonna hit me again, and there's a chance it'll kill me. But I don't need Dancing Queen anymore. He's gonna go for Stealth Rock. I stay asleep. Mm, he's doing that to try and get rid of uh, Sir Francis's special, which is fine. I don't mind that at all. Uh, also, Ghost Dad is dead now, upon entry. That was a good move on his part. That was a really good move. I mean, he's lucky that I stayed asleep, but it was still a good move. Um, let's go for... I could go for two bullet punches. Let's just do it. Oh, I stay asleep again, and he kills me with the Earthquake. Man, with these full duration sleeps. Uh, McSmash comes in, I go for the Ice Punch, he's obviously going to switch out, probably into Heatran. I switch into the Gentleman, uh, I can't go for an Earthquake, fearing the Glyph score, I could double switch back into McSmash. Could do that. Could go into Sir Francis and just start pumping out Waterfalls, which I should have probably done in the first place. Uh, no, we're going to go here. McSmash. He's got to predict the Ice Punch. He has to predict the Ice Punch. He has to. He has to predict the Ice Punch. Right? No, he doesn't! Glyceo's gonna get one shot to this Ice Punch. Uh, I'm gonna take some damage from the Toxic. Uh, he can switch into... Breloom. He can't go for Spore. He can go for Mock Punch, which won't kill me. He could go for Rock Tomb, which won't kill me. Ice Punch is going to kill him. He's going to go for the Mock Punch and fail to kill me. Ice Punch is going to kill him. Heatran's going to come in. And, um... Uh, I'm going to let McSmash go down and I'm going to finish him off next turn with an Earthquake from the Gentleman. And that is going to be three big wins. Oh, Ancient Power. Why did he go... What? No! Did he just Hail Mary? Did he just Hail Mary me right now? Did he just Hail Mary me? No, he did not. No. Guys, he just went for Ancient Power. No, he did not. He went for it, guys. I was so scared right for a second there that he went for Ancient Power, got the boost, and he turned that around all because of that. Oh, that would have been, that would have been too funny. Too funny. So that was actually a really fun match. I enjoyed that a lot. He had a lot of threats that were a big deal to my team. A really, uh, the, the Breloom, I'm really glad he led with it. He probably saw it as uh, a really big threat to my team and thought he would try and put some work in early, but um, it ended up working out in my favor that I was able to get a bullet punch off really early on that Breloom and scare it down. Um, so, uh, you know, I think I played that last one well. The other two matches are a little bit more, a little bit more fun, but I hope you guys enjoyed this series. Uh, GLG, the return is gonna continue, but kind of interjected with a little bit of GBA matches, which are coming up pretty soon, guys. The league does start really soon. You guys might have seen the schedule. If you haven't, definitely go check that out on the GBA's official Twitter and follow the GBA official YouTube to find uh, more information about all the other trainers and uh, teams in this league. Um, if you guys want to support my team, the San Francisco Giantes, definitely follow me on Twitter. I tweet 
news about my team on the regular basis. Definitely check out my other videos, my draft recap video. Really excited for that. This is going to be the last episode of These Chicks Don't Know the Name of My Band. I will come back with another gym for GLG The Return Episode 5. As always, my name is Gym Leader Geo. You guys are the challengers. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you guys next time.